George Heyman was the executive director of the Sierra Club of BC until he became the nominated NDP candidate in the riding of Vancouver Fairview. Some already think he could be a major player in an Adrian Dix cabinet, should that come to pass? And he joins us now from our Vancouver studio. George, great to have you on the program. Thank you. Good to be here. Um, let me ask you about, uh, you've seen the, the you, you, well, you've certainly heard the throne speech where Chrissy Clark sketched out this magical future that uh, LNG uh, resources are going to bring to the province of British Columbia. And certainly you've heard your leader, Adrian Dix, talk about the promise of natural gas. What do you make of the Liberals now saying, oh, an NDP government gets in there, and you just heard Christy Clark saying that you'll be nothing but obstructionist and we'll never see this magical LNG future? Well, it's a bit like their uh, negative personal attack ads on our leader, Adrian Dix. Uh, they're essentially uh, made up of fantasy. Adrian Dix and our energy critic, John Horgan, have both said that they agree with the Liberals, that there's tremendous potential in uh, natural gas and LNG development for uh, British Columbians. The difference is that uh, Adrian Dix, John Horgan and the NDP say that uh, British Columbians have a number of concerns uh, that have to do with fracking, that have to do with climate change and we owe it to British Columbians to do due diligence. That's why we've opposed, uh, proposed a study of uh, the impacts of fracking both on the environment, on water supply and on greenhouse gas emissions and that we should then uh, proceed in accordance with uh, those findings. Uh, what uh, Ms. Clark calls uh, roadblocks and delays, uh, I would call uh, due diligence. Uh, you've seen this debate uh, from, uh, on any number of issues in terms of resource development over the years where there are people who say we need to do some more scientific studies and those who are in favor of say quick resource development uh, say the science is there, let's proceed. Um, any of these LNG terminals are years from being developed. We just heard it's 2017 down the road. Do you think mm -hmm. some of the scientific studies uh, particularly around fracking, and, and certainly there's a lot of science that says there are some issues around fracking and groundwater contamination. Do you think the science can get done on the same time frame uh, in order to get approval processes done? I think that's quite likely. Uh, I was reading uh, in the Vancouver Sun today that uh, in fact there's a considerable questioning about the speed at which these terminals uh, can proceed. Uh, Ms. Clark is uh, saying that uh, we have a fourfold price advantage uh, by exporting LNG to Asia. Those numbers have been questioned. Uh, the market is changing very rapidly. There are no long-term contracts in place yet. So this will take time and when it is going to take time and when uh, there's significant environmental and climate change concerns, we should get it right. Um, and we should take the time to get it right. Uh, certainly in, in your work with the Sierra Club, this has been sort of heart and center of some of the work you would have done in, in terms of resource development. Um, let me ask you about this, because a lot of Canadians are watching this election because uh, British Columbia is very important to Canada's economy. Um, in terms of certainly natural gas, British Columbia doing well, the, the country does well. Let me also ask you, though, about oil. I, in your view, is there any shape, way, or form that an oil pipeline, not necessarily Northern Gateway, but can an oil pipeline take crude from Alberta two ports in BC, or perhaps rail is the other option. Is there a way to get that stuff in Alberta to a port in BC, in your view? Well, what we have said in British Columbia and the NDP is both with respect to Northern Gateway, where we've opposed the specific proposal, and with respect to Kinder Morgan, where we've yet to see a specific proposal, that the first thing we'll do on forming government is withdraw from the equivalency agreement that lets the federal government, with reduced environmental assessment standards, uh, actually review these pipeline proposals. We'll put a rigorous science-based, made in BC environmental assessment uh, process in place, and then we will see what the science tells us about both environmental damage and the impacts on uh, climate change and greenhouse gas emissions. So rather than uh, for me to uh, be presumptive about the outcome of such an environmental assessment process, I'm running to ensure that we have good, solid environmental assessment in BC that looks at environmental impacts, that helps us meet our uh, legislated greenhouse gas emission targets, and that we uh, proceed accordingly, not just with uh, resource extraction and uh, energy and fuels like, uh, like oil and gas, but uh, in a whole host of other uh, economic measures, we should have a much more diversified economy in BC than simply relying on natural gas or the transport of bitumen, and that's exactly what the NDP is saying under Adrian Dix. Wouldn't that, though, introduce some delays if BC says, listen, we're going to take over this process that the federal government was, uh, had going, for whatever reason, just setting that up, getting that going, would take time, and then the question is, could BC do it as quickly or more quickly than a federal process? 
Well, the federal process itself has been quite lengthy. Uh, there's a majority of British Columbians are opposed to the uh, Northern Gateway Pipeline proposal to tankers uh, down the coast through uh, very treacherous waters off the Douglas Channel. Uh, many British Columbians are expressing concern about Kinder Morgan. We ourselves have said we're concerned about the scope of the proposal. We want to see the final proposal from Kinder Morgan. I think British Columbians uh, want us to take the time to ensure that uh, our coastline is safe. Uh, and that, George means, uh, that means a rigorous environmental assessment process. That doesn't mean the kind of free ride that the Enbridge Northern Gateway Pipeline has received from the federal process. Uh, George Heyman, thank you so much for joining us, running in Vancouver Fairview. Good luck in the election, and perhaps we'll talk before it's all done. Thank you very much. My pleasure. All right.